Welcome to Guns and Gear Network, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in today. We're going to take a look at a budget-friendly option to mount a flashlight to your A2 front sight on your AR by LZ. Stay tuned. Welcome back guys, appreciate you tuning in. So today I'm going to show you a budget friendly option for the folks that might have an A2 front sight on their AR. I know a lot of new ARs have been purchased lately uh, due to the political climate we're in and uh, that a lot of times means that they've bought a standard carbine similar to this one. So we built a uh, basic carbine for my son and I wanted he wanted a flashlight on his I wanted him to have a flashlight and I highly suggest if you are going to use it for any serious purpose potentially at all um, at night then you want to mount a flashlight and so I want to show you a way to do that economically that you didn't have to change out hand guards or anything else this is just a straight addition to what you currently have if you have the A2 front sight and a standard round M4 style uh, hand guard up front so uh, the nice folks folks over at LZ was nice enough to send this out to us for a build that uh, for my son and we're going to take a look at that today so They've been around a long time. This product is not new to market. It has been out for a while, but I thought it uh, deserved a refresher video uh, because of all the new gun purchases as of late. And a lot of them being, uh, you know, AR style uh, firearms. So this retail on this one is $29.95. You might be able to find it a little cheaper other places. Just depends. I don't know if they have what's called map pricing. So the retailer can only list it, but so cheap. But either way, they also offer a few different other products, including lights, other different style mounts, and all that. Really, uh, everything's made in the USA, by the way, so you're supporting a U.S.-based company, which is always a plus in my book when it comes to this stuff. So, LZ, I want to say thank you for sending this out, and let's take a look. It is a two-piece design that essentially clamps around your A2 front sight, just like that. If you notice, it says made in the USA right on the product. This is made of a really heavy-duty Zytel kind of reinforced uh, polymer is what this is. And so it actually has a spot for your bayonet lug. A lot of these new import, I'm sorry, these new ARs will have the bayonet lug. And I think the simplest solution to this is going to be to put that side on, take your flashlight. By the way, this right here is one of the cheapo flashlights that I've had good success with. Uh, found in my Amazon store. I used to buy them off eBay. I can't find them anymore. They go by a bunch of different names. Supposedly they have Cree LED lights. It's about 800 and some lumen. It's very bright, very nice, and it's aluminum construction and uh, so forth. But anyway, just wanted to kind of mention that if you're interested in what flashlight, because I know that's what people ask, uh, what flashlight I'm using. And I know that LZ also produces some nice quality flashlights, so you may want to check out those. So I think the best way to do this is kind of get it started with one screw and it's going to come with all your screws and attachments and you're going to have a little nut that goes on the back that nut has a little self containment area that um, holds it so you don't have to have a separate wrench to do that i'll go ahead and um, put one of these on the end of my allen wrench here like this and get it started once you get the first one on it's kind of hands-free at that point but you're kind of using a couple different hands to hold everything till you get it going and so there's the first one all right my son's helping me guys say hello hi guys and i'm trying to teach him this type stuff this is his ar we built together he got the experience how to build it we're going to have him do a review of it one day maybe and we're going to show you what's that about so again, I just put the little uh, nut back there. It's got that little self-containment area that holds it so it doesn't turn. Put your finger back there so it doesn't push out of the hole as you're turning it. I'm not going to tighten everything down real tight yet. I don't never do that until I get everything adjusted how I want. So this one right here, is, this one in the center has two. One down at the bottom, one at the top. This one at the top is the one that really tightens down the flashlight uh, and secures it. 
So you might, and it also comes, I will show you this, it comes with these inserts, depending on what size flashlight you have, you might need uh, these. It also comes with a thumb screw, in case you want a quick adjustment, uh, which would be used here to take the flashlight on and off. I'm not gonna use it typically when I mount a flashlight. It's kind of there, I'm okay with it. Uh, and so, but it's a good thought uh, to have that in there if you so choose to try using it and want it. So this one, because it is kind of, I don't want to say spring action, but you kind of got to push it to get it going. Because if not, it's not going to touch the back screw there. So again, I'm not going to tighten this one all the way until I get everything set. And then we will adjust everything out. So again, on the Allen wrench. Has two more down here. Come back here. Get this one started. I thought for the money this was the most simplistic, easy design that people could do themselves without, again, changing or adding, you know, Picatinny rails or anything like that. You buy this, buy the flashlight, and you're good to go. So I like that about this setup where you're not having to add anything or change hand guards or drill holes to add Picatinny rails or something like that. Um, so I thought this was the most simplistic design. All right, so I'm gonna start tightening everything down now. Get my flashlight kind of lined up how I want. You might need to adjust the flashlight how far you want it out or in because really it's only going to be tightened around the flashlight in this little bitty area between here and here for the most part. So you could actually run it out a little further if you so choose. However you want to do it, I'm going to put it about right there and go ahead and tighten this down. One thing I've done over the years with these mounts, uh, any of these type flashlight mounts, if it is, um, if you can, if based on your flashlight size and your inserts or anything like that if you can't get it uh, how you want if you can run a simple piece of duct tape or something around the flashlight to take up some space uh, that's one way to kind of custom fit it if you will to some of these so keep that in mind you can do that piece of duct tape i've used a rubber inner tube cut a strip out wrapped it around the flashlight when i did it done that so there's ways to make it work a lot of times All right, guys, sorry about that. Had a little technical difficulty, had a battery go dead on us. So anyway, let's finish tightening everything up on this, make sure we're all good and snug, and we should be good to go. All right, so if you're looking for a simplistic, easy, an economical way to mount a flashlight. This right here works. If you uh, just simply push the button like that with a push button. If you wanted to do a remote switch with a pressure pad, you could do that. You could run the pressure pad up here on top maybe uh, would be an easier option. And I've got some pressure pads. I may try to see if he likes that. And then you can just Velcro them up here on top or sticky tape them. Uh, but this right here is an excellent option. But I want to thank the folks over at LZ for sending this over for us. It is ZFH1500 tactical flashlight holder. So go check them out. Again, you can check out the Amazon store. I've got this and other things in there along with their website. I'll have that over there also. If you got any questions or anything, be sure to post those below. If you've used this product and like to give us some feedback, be sure to do that. And as always, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Bring another video shortly. Have a great day.